Hi guys, I'm here today in a super new outfit and I'm going to show you a nice tool which I've uh, discovered recently. It's about security and um, for majorly the development side, as you know, we have the API manager where we can apply different kinds of policies and so on to make the communication and secure our APIs with the zero trust approach. But here we are talking about the development side of security. Um, as you know, AnyPoint Studio provides different um, possibilities using Maven to introduce uh, open source libraries. Uh, you could even uh, develop your own Java SDK. So for those kind of things, uh, it is a super nice um, tool to use. And the best thing is to provide a free version. So let's dive in and see what Sneak is and how it can help you. Okay, so now you are able to see the website. It's sneak.io. Um, if you visit, you will land here directly. So Sneak is a, a tool for developers um, to embed the security directly from the very beginning in all the open source libraries you are using. Make sure that you don't have any uh, versions which includes vulnerabilities. We have recently seen this uh, log4j issue. So there are a couple of other libraries as well, which might be impacted, impacted or your APIs are using older libraries you should update. So all these kind of things Sneak can identify for you. You don't have to go through your POM file and see for uh, search for it. Um, it does it for you completely and it's super easy to use. Um, and the next thing is when you think about um, developing your own connector using the Java SDK for Mule, it also can um, find out vulnerabilities in your Java code and help you fix them before you release your SDK connector. So here on the Sneak um, website, you will find the different products, what they offer. So they have an open so source product, which is uh, allowing you to fix the open source vulnerabilities. The code scanning, uh, very similar to um, static code analysis. So it's actually the same but much faster. They have uh, one of the largest libraries, the container uh, for your container application, Kubernetes, and so on. And in infrastructure as code is also something they can uh, monitor and test if everything is fine on that side. So in order to get the quickest start possible for Sneak, uh, you can sign up on their website. So you have also the possibility to get access to a management control not just scanning your project and see what the issues are right now, but you can scan multiple projects and it will summarize them into a nice dashboard. Um, you just sign up and it's super fast. It will uh, create uh, the management console for you and then you can log in. So let me log in quickly. And in parallel, what we can do, you can currently see, I have here just a organization called MuleSoft Security. It's loading my dashboard. And I receive here basically a, a current uh, summary of my um, vulnerabilities or security issues. So you can see it here. I have a six high severity and uh, 11 uh, medium severity. And then you can see here all the different projects uh, which are again classified by these things. So I have here kind of a Docker file, but this is for, from their demo what I'm using. I have uh, different others like my DevOps uh, connector for SDK, which has two critical vulnerabilities, four medium or high, five medium and one low vulnerabilities. And you can obviously go into this directly from here, um, select the project, and then you are going into it. And once it opens, it shows you exactly what the issue is. You can filter by uh, critical vulnerabilities and you will see these are the critical vulnerabilities in my uh, SDK development. So I'm using a specific uh, version um, which need to be updated. Uh, so you can see here I have 411. It is fixed in 4.3. Uh, 
Yeah, so it's um, on, it's impacting the mule runtime. And also here, remote code execution, same for the mule runtime 41243, it is uh, fixed. I can also continue with the uh, high uh, ones. So you can see here, JSON. Uh, also, I have, uh, I'm using um, the version 1.1 and it is uh, fixed in uh, version 2.8.9. Uh, so this is how it can really help you um, fix your security issues in your Maven projects um, by analyzing your POM file or even the code you have uh, used in your uh, SDK. So in order to set it up, what I did is um, I installed their uh, CLI on my machine. They also provide different kind of plugins for your IDEs. So uh, if you are using, for instance, um, the plugin on Eclipse in Studio, if you have enabled it, you can install also the Eclipse plugin. So there is something uh, you can provide, but uh, I think the experience is much, much better when you are doing it directly on, on your uh, machine using the CLI. Um, so let's take a look into the CLI and see how uh, it is interacting with Mule. So first of all, currently you can see I am, let me go back one second. So I am in my MuleSoft workspaces and I want to, let's say, first analyze this training for American VS. So it's a typical training uh, workspace. So I go in and here, when I go in, you can enter basically sneak with a test flag. It will start testing, but let me show you what the CLI once it is installed can do for you. So you can see here, it comes up. If you just enter sneak, it comes up and show you what or how to use it. What are the available commands? First of all, I need to authenticate to, um, to sneak. So if you have signed up here, uh, it will just open the browser and you just authenticate or confirm that your CLI is allowed to use uh, your account, then it will be authenticated. And then you can start basically scanning the um, sneak test, uh, the open source vulnerabilities in your Maven. Um, and it will scan your Maven file currently in the project where you are in. So if I would do now sneak test, it will analyze my training American uh, VS project and look for vulnerabilities. So let's take a look if we find some. So it has started to analyze querying all vulnerabilities and actually it found few of them. So you can see here, um, it tested 114 dependencies, found eight issues and eight vulnerable paths. And I have the possibility now to uh, upgrade a few of them to just get rid of uh, the MySQL issues, which you can see are in the version 16. And I should be upgrading it to a version which is here 28. Yeah, so you can see it here it is it's uh, the um, layout of my command line but when i upgrade this to 28 it should be fixed and then it found other issues which i have to do uh, yeah, manually upgrade um, i will fix this automatically in the studio so if i go now in studio and to the workspace here uh, and i can go now to my pom file and here I should be finding, one second, no, I don't want to switch. So I should find here my, my SQL. And this is actually what I can now fix by using, let me quickly check if it's the right version. So it is my SQL 8.0.28. I go back here, yeah, 28, I can save it. And if I would obviously scan again, 
So you will see it will not find this issue anymore. So it's again scanning and now you can see it found six issues because the two issues which were related to the MySQL uh, version um, for the library are fixed now. Now I can continue to do this here on the remaining one. I can also do this uh, into my SDK project. So if I go again here, you can see I should have something for DevOps, you know, the Je uh, Jenkins plugin. So I go into the DevOps plugin and do again sneak test. And if there are vulnerable uh, issues in my open source libraries, it will show up and tell me what are the vulnerable, uh, vulnerabilities. So here you can see 12 vulnerable paths and it is also providing all the different libraries with the fixing versions I need to upgrade to in order to uh, fix it. So you can see here, I need to upgrade to um, my JSON. I need to upgrade from 2.8.1 to 2.8.9. Yeah. So this is the way it is working. Same for Guavo. Um, so all these libraries are listed here and you can use it. So once this is done, you can also go back into your project uh, again in your dashboard where you will find all these different results also collected. So you have it centrally managed in a single platform for all the security vulnerabilities related to your open source or even code uh, are consolidated here. Um, the next thing, what is also possible, you can directly link your um, GitHub repositories here as well. Yeah? So you can connect GitHub or other repositories. I think it's uh, ADO and uh, GitLab, if I'm not mistaken. So here you can see these are all the different uh, source control uh, repositories you can attach. Also good if you are doing um, for your container, um, if you are writing workloads, so you can fix them and analyze them here as well. Um, CI CD integration is provided and couple of plugins. So you can see here, you have an Eclipse plugin as well. I've not activated uh, my marketplace on any point studio, um, but you can also look into it, how it would look like. I don't like the experience in Eclipse in general. Um, so that would be an overload for my environment, but it is like this. You can go, once you have enabled the marketplace on any point studio, they provide this scanner and you need to configure it obviously by authenticating to your um, platform or to your management console. And then you will see the sneak uh, result will occur in, um, in the logging area and which will then show you also in this format, how um, the vulnerabilities are introduced and how you are able to fix it. Um, yeah, so that's, that's it. Uh, majorly, if you want to get started with the with the open source version or with the yeah, with the open source version, I suggest you download the CLI. So go to the, their documentation, um, click on Sneak CLI, and then you can see here get started. Sneak CLI. And then you have the possibility to install with. One second, this should be here somewhere. Yeah, install the sneak uh, CLI. And here you can see the different installing options. It's super easy to use and really makes sense uh, when you are working with any point studio and uh, using multiple open source libraries, then this is uh, the way to secure before you build your APIs and deploy it uh, directly from the open source perspective. So that was it. Thanks a lot. And see you next time.